is going on guys? It's the Mad Dragon. Welcome back to Rugby 22 where we are going to be continuing our series with our Italian team to see if we can win the Grand Slam with Italy. Now for those of you who didn't see the last episode, spoiler alert coming up because we are going to be showing some highlights from that game. So quickly go back and check out that video if you didn't already. In the last episode, Italy went on to play Ireland and it was a bit of a grueling match. We got pretty well getting a nice early try in that game, but Ireland were not going to get defeated. We had a brilliant try come in from Keelan Doris who did take out about 19 defenders to get across. Luca Bigi broke his arms. I don't know what was going on there. <laughs> He managed to miss that uh, that tackle. We thought all hope was lost. The missed kick we had earlier meant we were down 7-5. And then the moment we were all waiting for, Italy finally managing to break through with, you know what, I can't even do it justice. Let's just replay that final few seconds. The dream of the Six Nations Grand Slam could be over for Italy, but they're not having it yet. Out they go to Zanon. Goes it goes to Federico Mori, the slowest winger in the world. He could win this for Italy. Look at Kirky Mills. No, he can't get across. It's a try. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Keith Hills was running across like a madman to get back for that cover tackle. And there we had it, guys. The third win of this Six Nations Championship. Now, this week, we are going to be moving on to play against Scotland. Now, this is a game I am looking forward to. Two blue teams. So, we're first of all, going to have to try and arrange this to be slightly different. We will, of course, be mixing up the, uh, the team again. We'll put Scotland in white. That makes good sense. Uh, we are going to be playing on Legend on 10 minute difficulty. We've been doing the entire tournament on Legend and it is tough uh, to say the least. So in terms of a stadium, uh, we want something with a bit of blue. We're supporting both sides really. Uh, I think I kind of like the uh, the Olympic Stadium. I know we did sort of Italy for this one, but you know, Italy and Scotland both playing blue. I think that's perfectly fine. In terms of the team management, we want to mix it up a little bit. Now someone that impressed me an awful lot in the last game was Traore. Now there he is. Let's chuck Traore back in because I thought he played absolutely brilliantly. So Traore is going to come on here and fill in in that prop department. Ricky only can move to the bench. I also really enjoyed in the last episode being able to put Fiverr on. I think Fiverr was absolutely brilliant in the last game. You know what? So much so, Fiverr is going to be starting this week. We are going to put him on in this starting rather than Lucchesi. I have just realized that Rutzer is absolutely not allowed to go there. So we'll put uh, Rutzer back on his shirt. Marco Fusa, uh, who had a brilliant game. You know what? I am going to put Fusa on the bench and bring Negri back on. I'm going to bring Fusa on a little bit earlier this week, I think, into, uh, into the game. Now, Carlo Canna, for me, really wasn't uh, up to speed in the last game. Marine is going to go back on in, uh, in that replacement shirt. I don't think we're going to keep him. I might keep Padovani on this bench just for this game, just to make sure. Callum Braley is there. Um, ah, Callum Braley just unfortunately isn't uh, making that impact. Do we dare make a very big switch up here and actually maybe play Alessandro Fusco? I think looking at his stats, it doesn't really look quite as good. I might actually put on uh, some more forwards. I feel like Scotland are going to want to use their forwards an awful lot. We're going to put uh, Giovanni Lacata on instead. And we're going to load up this week. This is going to be a slightly different to what we've normally done. We are, in fact, going to go for a 6-2 split here um, and try and make it a little bit more interesting. We'll load up on these forwards and we'll try and put Scotland under pressure. So with that all out of the way, guys, we will, of course, move on. So it is time to get this game kicked off and underway. Alrighty guys, here we are down at, well, Murrayfield or the Stadio Olimpico, whichever one you prefer. I guess we've got blue in the crowd and that's all that matters. Blue and white as Scotland run onto the field. A slightly different setup there. Uh, we've got all the photos. This is nice. We actually get to see all of the photos there of the, uh, the Italian team, the newly changed Italian team. A couple of big switches that we're trying to find that perfect Italian team from this. A couple of big names now in this Scotland team as well. Hamish Watson, Jamie Ritchie, Pierre Schumann, who had a brilliant Six Nations. There is a lot of weight and power behind this Scotland team. We'll start off Garbisi to kick down to the left. The only fly half in the team this week. We'll uh, try and get some good coverage here. Right, we've got that line width spread as wide as it can be. Traore trying to get in there with a nice little uh, tackle. Let's see if we can weigh this down. We don't want them to get through too fast here. Scotland have absolutely loaded this uh, this right-hand side up here. We'll try and cover this as much as possible as well. They make a nice switch. That is a beautiful... 
This player has just dodged about eight tacklers. What happened there? <laughs> We're still getting to see the magic of Rugby 22 with uh, some of the brilliant running play that you get to see from some players. Come on, Italy, get in there. Here we go. The scrub half tries to pick it up. Not through there, Ali Price. Not today. And we will now begin to punish them as Faschetti gets it to Garbisi. To Zanon. Out to Iwani. Nice and early. Runs it down. We'll try. Oh, oh, he couldn't get the kick away. There was the opportunity there. Scotland beginning to feel the pressure. They're going to go front. That's absolutely fine. We'll let that settle down. We've got some big scrum half uh, block, sorry, in that in that line out now. It's because the scrum half had the ball. That's why I said it wrong. Here we go out to Zanon. Mixing it up. A nice up and under for Zanon to chase. And a beautiful pickup as well. Here we go. Suddenly Italy are in all sorts of uh, fantastic positions. As we go out wide, it's really well held by Darcy Graham on that right wing to not cut in. Here we go. Okay, it's not going to go anywhere there. We'll switch it up. To a different bit of a set play. We're going to mix it up and go for a loop here. Here we go. Passing it once to Brex. Oh, couldn't get it away. Okay, they. Okay, in fact, let's which, mix it. Let's do a a line out here. Let's see if we can go for the wide out. Here we go. Hold the ball. Hold the ball. Bang. Spread wide. Yuani leaving that pass right to the last minute. That little pump pass out to Rutzer. Here he goes. The one man. Can he go all the way? It's a beautiful try from the man who made it into my team of the week so many times during the actual Six Nations. Frederico Rutzer gets himself over for the tries. We see Stephen Varney here. Lovely little pass. The great little pop pass there from Garbisi. Yuani slipping a tackle. The ball spread wide there. And Roots are still had a lot of work to do. A nice little step inside. You could see the Scotland player spinning on a dime to try and catch up to him. What a brilliant first try. I think Italy will be very happy with that. Right, Garbisi to take this conversion. An awful lot of wind coming back at us here. I'm going to aim actually for the far post and see if it will curl back in. Oh, no. <laughs> we had this in the last game, guys. The kicking. Not up to standard, yeah. Just make sure you get that pat on the back for Garbisi. Not that he looks too much like Garbisi in this game. He's still the... Wow, what was that about? <laughs> I have no idea what that glitch was, but it looked awful. That was a... Oh, it's a great little injury there to Finn Russell as well. You know what? We got a knock on, but Finn Russell, a key player to be injured there. Um... Oh, it was our knock-on or their knock-on. Yes, Finn Russell having to come off. Adam Hastings on. Not got a lot of time in the Six Nations. Uh, so, Finn Russell, we're going to miss that wild card of Finn Russell. So, I think it gives Italy a really good chance here to uh, try and damage that centre partnership. Having Scotland already with that big key injury. Right, first scrum. Come on, here we go. Oh, we actually won a thing. Come on, go, go, go. No, no, no. Okay, well, it was short-lived. The le I can't even see the circle. This is so stupid. The blue circle is almost impossible to see on the screen. Right, okay, they've got to spread. Which way is he going to go here? Is he going to pick up the ball himself? No, he's going to cut it up this way. That's fine, because Stephen Varney, like a lightning bolt, absolutely on him. And Scotland just completely abandoned the ruck there. I have no idea how their flanker managed to catch that. Stephen Varney goes wide. Federico Mori, we saw what brilliance he can hold in the last game. Chips it on. Can he keep the kick going? Oh, it's a lovely little pickup. Get this man on the football pitch. He was a brilliant little kick on there. Didn't work. Scotland uh, with a really impressive kick there, to be fair. Right, we're going to see if we can go for the 50-22. Let's kick it deep. We're not going to get it to that touchline, but we are going to put them under enormous pressure. That is a really good clearance from there, to be fair, for Scotland. Minotio run this back up. We're going to go for the big up and under. Try and put that full back under some pressure. But he manages to recover it. Minotzi, absolutely brilliant. Wow, some of these clearing... Look at this clearing kick. That's outrageous. The wind on the first kick, I felt curved infield. And the, the wind on the second kick curved outwards. Uh, well, fair play to uh, to Scotland. That was some clean exits there. We managed to confuse them at the lineup. That was a nice move. Apparently, I didn't press pass correctly. I couldn't say that word then. Traore taking it in through the middle there. Let's see if we can spread this a little bit further wide. Zanon takes it into the tackle as well. It's fine. We've got some good coverage. Just Stephen Varney oh, nearly found the gap. But of course, as is the way this is going, I think it's either... I think it might be Jamie Ritchie. I'm struggling to read the number on the back of that uh, that player with the red scrum cap. It might be Jamie Ritchie or it might be Grant Gilchrist. I'm not sure if Grant Gilchrist is actually uh, playing in the Scotland team. Oh, look at Darcy Graham going here with the beautiful feet as Lamaro, the captain, stepping up as Stephen Varney. Oh, I thought he could get there then. 
Lamaro had a beautiful interception. It was absolutely necessary. Uh, we're going to have to try and do something with this here. We are stuck a little bit in no man's land. Let's drop this back and see if we can get the kick. Zanon decided to say no to the uh, the kicking game that I was clearly trying to set up there. Brown Stain takes it in. Oh no, this is not going well. What happened there? Don't let him through, boys. What happened? There was four players. How did you let him through? Duan van der Move just... What happened there? There was four... Italian players stood in a ball and no look at them all no one made this tackle outrageous oh what a gift of a try there was absolutely not need this Italian defense uh, just looking poor looking completely out of shape um, welcome Adam Hastings to the game as he is going to uh, take that kick right well that just suddenly put us under a lot of pressure that I didn't think that we would be facing Garbisi going to mix it up this time Go for the high ball. Oh, and again, they're just breaking through these tackles. Right. Italy running offside. I can't even commit someone there to any of that uh, that breakdown. Bang! That's a good hit. That was not a very friendly pass there from the scrum. Ha! Ali Price not uh, helping his team out. Nice tackle there from Italy. We're going to spread this wide again. I don't trust Ali Price with this pick up and go. We saw him in that Six Nations. He loves to pick up the ball now, apparently. He hasn't done it in so long, but Scotland, he was doing it well, the Six Nations. Italy, move in here. Stephen Varney, wow. I mean, this Scotland team is so aggressive on the blitz. Here we go. Yuani not managing to make any ground either. Wow, and they managed to get a turnover there as well. This Italian team is, is desperately struggling in defence. Look at the room opening up in the side there as well. I just feel like Italy have no shape in this game. It's looking absolutely dog-legged in defence. Our players are just stood in a ball. Hands in the ruck. I mean, thank God. <laughs> we, we desperately need a penalty in all serious, guys. We are two points down. I'm going to go for the kick here and see if we can go in at half-time. Uh, one point in the lead. I think this is urgently needed. Right. Uh, I am actually playing with a new controller this week, uh, which I don't think I've mentioned yet because my old controller was, uh, was not doing too well. So uh, I'm having to get a little bit used to where the new controls are on my uh, on my new controller, but it is a successful conversion. Italy go in at half time, eight seven up, and what a fun little half it's been. Let's check out some of the highlights. Certainly a tight affair in this first half, starting off with Rutz's try, an absolutely brilliant move, managing to spread it wide, a lovely little sidestep, getting to see him get over for that try. Scotland weren't going to be put down by this though, and of course we saw Duan van der Merf, such a high try scorer for Scotland, now managing to make the most of a pretty dog-legged defence in Italy. Four players just standing around a poor tackle for Federico Mori sees Duan van der Merf go for his try, and then right at the end there, just before the half-time whistle, we managed to get to see a beautiful conversion from Garbisi of that penalty, allowing Italy to go into the lead 8-7. Okay, in terms of the team management, uh, I think the players are doing okay, really. I'm not seeing a lot of things. I'm not going to leave this super late, in all honesty. I might try and change this front five around the 50, 60 minute marker, potentially. Um, if I don't want that pressure to drop. We've got the 6-2 split. We might as well use the forwards as we can do. But let's get the second half kicked off. We'll see what uh, Adam Hastings does. What an awful kick. Yeah, absolutely. We won't, uh, won't be doing any of that. Right. First scrum of the second half. I think, is this our first scrum of this game? I actually have no idea. We've been doing okay in terms of the scrummaging, really. Um, I feel like we've been able to hold out pretty well throughout this tournament. Set. Set. Right, in we go. Yeah, certainly our own our own put-ins have been the best. Right, we're just going to go in and out. That was a beautiful turnover there. Stephen Varney. Oh, couldn't get the ball wide. Absolutely needed to get that wider. Zanon, can he spread it wide here to Federico Mori, who had to show off last week and do something pretty incredible for the rest of the team. Okay, well, it doesn't look like we're going to get through there. Let's spread this to a wide out. We'll try and mix it up a little bit. Bring in the fullback here in Minotzi. Bang, Garbisi trying to make his way through. It doesn't work, but we have sucked in a lot of Scottish defenders that opens up the outside. Now, Fischetti's going to have to take this in. Oh, he had to take it in to get the uh, the defender in there. We'll bring this out to Yuani. He'll go for an up and under, try and regain a bit of ground. It's a lovely catch in the air. Beautiful in terms of the, uh, the aerial combat. Here we go. Pass it back to Zanon, who's going to spread it to Bram Steyn. Managing to make a few extra meters there. For Sketty, who gets taken down from someone who looked pretty offside. Not going to lie, referee. Thought that uh, you might want to look into that one a bit more. Oh, there was an enormous...
first tackle in that centre position there. There's got to be a yellow card in there. Let's see if we can spread this wide anywhere. Oh, it's not looking like it's going anywhere. Jamie Ritchie with a yellow card. Let's watch this again. Look at this. It's like a wrestling manoeuvre. Jamie Ritchie there. Um, wow, what an interesting setup we've got here. Um, I think we've got to rely on the boot of Garbisi, guys. I can't think we could be we could be chancing this. We've been given the opportunity to take a penalty directly in front of the post. That might not go in. I'm going to curve this heavily to the left in case the wind kicks in. It's fine. Beautiful. The boot of Garbisi is going to hold us out potentially for this one. We move four points in the lead. We are outside of a drop goal or penalty range. Stephen Varney kicks it back downfield with an awesome kick. Look at this thing. What a beautiful kick. Puts Scotland right back near their own 22. Now, with a forward missing, their line-out is, of course, going to be in a lot of issues. There's also going to end up being more holes in this middle field. Garbisi takes it in. There must be room now in this defence to open up. Lamaro, a beautiful offload from the captain for Fischetti, who manages to get it through how have we not managed to recover that it's a nice clearance kick there from uh, from Ali Price we'll let this one bounce to take this one down Frederico Mori to put this back down into the field we've got to put Stuart Hogg under as much pressure as possible we know he's got a big boot who's decided not to kick instead he's decided to try and fight this out Ali Price will go for that clearance kick again. Yuani running across desperately to pick it up. It's a good move. Now, no one should be in this backfield. If we can get this kick over, there's a 50-22 opportunity here. Oh, there's huge pressure coming in. Oh, as the Scottish player has to run it into touch. Who would have thought it? It goes to an Italian lineup. The pressure from the chase after the kick from Italy. Looking brilliantly in Scotland. Still a man down. They've had to put someone extra in the lineup. We're going to dummy it to the front here and we're going to drop it back. We're going to go for the driving maul. It has served Italy well in this tournament so far. They are a forward down. Italy will drive it over the line. This could be the chance. This could be the game beginning to open up as we see Negri managing to get himself a try. Absolutely beautiful. That is how he wanted that setup to go. As far as you can into that lineup. No need to get it close. You don't want to be driven into touch. Throws it deep, managing to win the line out. Absolutely supported. Brilliant pickup from Bramstein. The weight of Traore in the background there. As you can see, they actually kept the ball towards the front here. And Negri goes over for that try. Absolutely beautiful. So. We are going to move towards this kick. However, first thing I'm going to be doing, because I'm sure that will have affected a lot of the stamina, we're going to drop our entire front five back on now. We're going to load up on these forwards. This is why we went for that fight, the 6-3 split on the bench, or the 6-2 split, sorry, on the bench. This is the entire reason why. Here we go. Canone, on he goes. Giovanni Lacata is going to come on um, in place of... Negri, who I think is going to come off for this one. The try scorer going to go off. Giovanni Lacata comes on. We've replaced our entire set there. Um, who do we want to do in terms of the backs? Um, to be honest, Minazzi's been playing a good game. I'm not going to give Padovani that shot. Marin, who has been so brilliant for us throughout this tournament, uh, going to be coming on. Brex is looking a little bit down on the stamina. We're going to put Marin on instead of Brex. We'll go back to the kick. This is to take it. 18-7. That is a huge score. I don't think we've had a score like this so far um, in this tournament. And this all could all be down to a Jamie Ritchie red card. And just Scotland's own discipline not letting them get away here. This is interesting to see. In fact, it's a bit of a tale of what happened in the real Six Nations. There were quite a few games where Scotland's own discipline let them down. It's nice to see the, the, the Rugby 22 is such a realistic gaming experience. Stephen Varney uh, picks up the ball accidentally, not what we managed to maintain. We'll make sure that's still as deep as possible. Here we go. Fuser, who had a brilliant game last week, gives a nice little offload to Lucchesi. Uh, maybe wasn't quite required there. Here we go. Let's see if we can get some good cover. They spread it wide there. Big call. Great tackle. I think that was Marine coming over there to make that tackle as they go wide into the middle there we'll try and get some good coverage in there try and support the players oh he's dropped the ball the pressure's beginning to show Ali Price deciding to be this one man army now it's not working for them they'll probably go for a little pass here oh no it's going to have to be a superb tackle oh was the pass necessary what a brilliant set of defence there. I don't think Scotland needed that extra pass. I think they could have got away with it. And now they've actually abandoned their man in the middle of the field. Oh, was... Italy can't make it pay. A superb tackle. Federico Mori, a hard man to stop. Is uh, Duan van der Merwe on that wing. He's not letting them spread wide. We understand what they want to do. And they've managed to shut it down. Absolutely brilliant. The defence has seen 
a massive change as we see a player just randomly. Oh, as he says this. Oh, there's a knock on. <laughs> As soon as I said, we've seen the change in the defence in Italy, they begin to completely open up. That'll be a great change. Jamie Ritchie back from his yellow card. The potential to score a try and immediately drops the ball for a knock-on. Five metres there from the try line. It's a, an enormous opportunity gone to waste. Here we go. We'll hopefully hold up the scrum. In fact, I'm not even going to let Steven Varney pick this up. I'm actually going to get this back and let Bramstein pick this up as a big ball carrier here. Here we go. Boom, Bramstein. Let's see if he can take this up. That way we've still got... Oh, well, I was hoping I would still that way have Steven Varney to pick up the ball and recycle quickly. It didn't work. Okay, here we go. Spreads it wide to Zanon. Lucchesi. Lakata with a great pass. That's why we put him on. Beautiful handling as Iwani. Oh, attempted to get it wide. As Darcy Graham with a great pickup here. Italy need to regain the shape of defence. They're really struggling here. Some brilliant last-ditch tackles from Italy. Get in. They've managed to turn it over. Stephen Varney absolutely isolated. I was going to pass that there. We need to shut this down, boys. This needs to go somewhere. Why are my players standing in front of my fly half? Here we go. Drop it back to Garbisi. Let's get this down towards the touchline. That's fine. We'll regain the ground. We will hold this out. Oh, they absolutely threw me off with the dummy there. I absolutely thought they were going to go for the uh, the front jumper. Oh, they've dropped the ball again. The bad discipline and bad handling issues there coming into plague Scotland as they see a weird ball where my entire Italy line decided to run away. We've managed to recover it. We are absolutely pinned down in this backfield. Marco Zanon to Giovanni Lakata, who sees him what he can do with the ball. Stephen Varney will run directly at Duan van der Merwe, who does not take the bait. We are struggling to get anywhere here. Oh, that's a lovely little pass. I was absolutely not ready for that one. Right, we can't afford to let the scrum half ah, pick it up. I knew Ali Price would go for that diving shot there. Hold it together, boys. Bang! Don't let him get through there. Some more brilliant defence from this Italy team. What has happened in that halftime talk to see this Italy team switch up so much? Marco Zanon goes to ground. Let's see if we can spread this wide. We've already won the game. It doesn't matter. It's going to be a case now of whether Italy could do something incredible and get a try the length of the field. I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I probably should have just let this go. Oh, we're going to see them go over. Yep, Darcy Graham, a lovely pickup there. It doesn't matter. The game was already over. If I was being overly brutal to Scotland, I probably should have let that go and, uh, and just kicked it into touch and won by a decent lead. But... Oh, it's off the, oh, off the post! <laughs> what an incredible way to finish that game. But Italy managed to hold out. The defence improved greatly. And the poor discipline of Scotland is really the tale of this game. The yellow cards and the penalties that came in. So important in this game. Italy winning by four points. And Scotland giving away two key penalties. The boot of Garbisi to me is what sealed out this game. Now, something I did do in the comments of the last one was allow people to talk about the man of the match um there was a couple of big names there i thought played well but for me the man who managed to seal out this game for us i'm going to give my man of the match to garbisi for being the one to be able to convert those kicks and see us get that little points bonus that we were able to make sure you guys do drop down in the comments who your man of the match would have been from this game and if you've enjoyed this video make sure to drop it a like and if you want to keep up to date with this series and everything to do with rugby 22 make sure you subscribe to the channel just to keep up to date when all the latest video comes out and you get that notification button before anybody else i hope you've all enjoyed today guys and i will see you next time bye bye